Well, hello, 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 and welcome back to another Rise of Empire video. I survived with me, Mr. Gill. Thank you so much for joining me, and thank you so much for all of your previous views, likes, comments, suggestions, subscriptions, and all of that jazz. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, here is the first of the videos on Eden. To start off with, I want to make some things clear. Never in the history of Mr. Gill's channel have we ever tried to uh, be too knowledgeable. <laughs> Guys, the way I like to make videos is I like to play it and actually do it and then tell you guys about it and then I learn from you and you learn from me and I learn from people in my alliance and then we kind of share all that information a little bit. Do not expect me to be standing here and going blah 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 blah. Here's do this on this second, then this on this second, then this on this second. Do not also expect me to be going, oh, you know, I, I, I played for seven days and now I'm going to come back and tell you about it. I'm telling you about it on day dot. Day dot for me. So... Eden starts roughly two, three, I think, I think it's been three weeks after the end of Season 2 of Reign of Chaos. Um, it will pop up as an event here, and it is called Reign of Chaos, because technically Eden is what's called Season X. Um, it is not. It, it, it used to be called Reign of Chaos Season 3, they changed it to Eden, all this kind of stuff. But you'll see this event up, this pop up, nine days before Eden is going to start. The first three days will count down to this, and then we start the seven day countdown to actual Eden. Today is technically registration day, sign up, intro, new content, season reward, development reward. This is all the things. We can sign up and we have three days to sign up. When we sign up, uh, we are saying basically that we're going to be playing this Eden. Now, Eden, like uh, Reign of Chaos, will occur battle days on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays, and stuff like that. So you want to make sure that when you sign up, you can actually do this. One of the reasons being that you will be transported to a new map. In that map, there will be factions and stuff like that, and you fight, and blah, blah, blah. There will be guilds. Those guilds can be made up of players from your alliance, from other alliances who are also on that map. So single players, maybe from states, blah, blah, blah. They are in that map as well. They can join your guild, so to speak, and you can be playing with many different people. That guild does have a population cap, so there can only be a certain number of players in that guild. Um, so if somebody is going to sign up, they might take up the, that kind of cap. They might uh, take up space uh, and they decide they're not going to actually play Eden. They're not available for Eden. They are then wasting the space that you have. So please, please, please make sure that you can actually fight. Um, it's relatively easy to sign up. We're going to click that button there as far as I know, but we'll just have a check here. Registration can only be done by the Alliance Master and Overseer. After registering, the system will begin matchmaking. If members leave the Alliance or immigrate during the registration, the registration qualification will be cancelled. Alliances cannot be exited or disbanded during Alliance matchmaking. This is a, a tricky thing here, so you're starting to get people stuck. Something we noticed with the um, Battlefield of Honor Special Championship or whatever it is, people are kind of are tied in, so I mean, you can't kick them out of an Alliance. Members freshly joining an Alliance in another province for less than seven days cannot register when the province is a Lord. Uh, when the province a Lord is in and the province the Alliance are in are not in the same group in the season, the Lord cannot register with the Alliance. Joining rules during the event, Lords that, do, that did not register can enter the ancient battlefield freely upon they will be transported, blah, 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 blah. New content. Let's have a quick look here. New season rules. Out of the new X Eden conflict game mode. I think this is the same thing they said when they started Eden all those years ago. I don't think it's actually new for this actual season. I just think it is uh, in, in general. Season rewards. Let's have a quick look here. What are we going to get out of this? Faction rewards, winner rewards, defeat rewards, development rewards, and season rewards. So roughly speaking, you're in a faction. There's eight competing factions within a map. Um, within those, uh, f those the things, there are guilds. Uh, you then take territory. You conquer cities. You gain these merit points and uh, honor points and all that kind of stuff. And effectively, you're going to be able to get a number of awards, either winning as your group, winning by yourself, uh, losing, developing fast. And then at the end of the whole thing, you're going to get some stuff as well. We'll come back to that when we get actually started. And then I think this is just repeating this. I don't know why they have two separate things there, but that's fine. Let's sign up, baby. Ordinary members could not sign up related actions. Please contact the Alliance Commander or Overseer. So there we have our first hurdle, so to speak. We are not allowed to sign up ourselves. So basically, the Overseer, this is one of the first things that the Overseer, I think the only thing an Overseer in an Alliance can do. If we come here, we see the Overseer. So normally, in a Reign of Chaos, the Guardian can launch that crazy dragon. 
uh, in season two of Reign of Chaos. I don't know what the recruiter can do, I don't know what the diplomat can do, but now we have a new role or task for the overseer. The overseer or the alliance commander, i.e. the R5, is gonna be able to sign us up to Reign of Chaos. So the first thing that we need to do in order to be ready for this, wait a second. Apologies if you keep on seeing an ad. Bloody Bluestacks has put this Google Ads on the side now. I really, it keeps on switching the window mode of the damn game. Apologies for that, it's really not right. Um, it's very annoying. I don't know how to get rid of it. Uh, yeah, so we need to therefore get our Alliance Commander. So if you are prepared Hopefully your Alliance Commander has got a list of all the people that are going to take part in Eden. You've got three days to sign them all up. So make sure you get that list going and make sure you get going. That's all we kind of have to do for day one of uh, Eden. We don't have to do much. We just need to make sure that our commander is going to put us in place. Obviously, if you are the commander, then you should be doing a few other things and making sure you're ready. The only other thing we can do here is uh, probably just uh, top up our honor. Now throughout the off season, this building is still available. And if you have activated the green skill there, you can use that to get 10,000 honor. It's not very much, but honor is important for taking tiles. We are, we will be talking about spec points in a video coming probably this afternoon. I might be able to make it. Um, it's a bit of a complicated video. I had to ask for help from a great member, Tagwin, who has a very nice honor point spec set up at the moment. Uh, but hopefully I can dilute the information he's given me, given me and uh, give it out to you guys. Other than that, that's it. Eden day one. Over. Success. We win. Fantastic. See you next time. Bye.